This is episode 1997 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I welcome you. As you do, one of the most important things you could do for yourself right now, and that is to give yourself a little more peace, energy, and clarity as we go through this uncertainty with the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. This week's series has had the theme of productivity in a crisis. All week long, you've explored ways to be more productive by slowing down and giving yourself more time and honoring your emotions and all you're going through right now. You have had a challenge this week. Your challenge was to keep a productivity journal. And this was a way for you to notice the ways your emotions were getting away from you, such as by watching news nonstop or having conversations that were fear-based and also in your productivity journal you were encouraged to notice the times when you felt uplifted and what you were doing who you were with and how that helped you to switch gears as you adjust to a new normal most of us are in isolation, what better time to carve out a sacred space for yourself to meditate? Here you are doing just that at your own pace, in your own way. It's all good. Each day this week, I've shared with you a productivity step to help you be more productive. You started the week off with steps that involved slowing down, relaxing, reflecting on your emotions. Well now, in the final episode of this seven part week long series, your final productivity step is to schedule throughout your day a few times that you're looking forward to to do something that relaxes you it could be something that's fun for you i know it's hard to find fun things to do when you are feeling trapped inside for me i have been taking advantage of some of the free concerts online and so i schedule The things I know I need to do each day, which involve, for me, work, but it also involves cooking for my family, cleaning, and because we're trying not to go to the grocery store, we are really focused on what we're eating and how much food we have and partitioning that supply that we have at home to spread it out a little bit. You might be doing the same thing. It takes a little extra focus and energy to consider this. It's not something we're likely used to considering. And as I do these different things, I have been using a timer on my phone. I'm typically not really inspired or motivated by using timers, but I've found it over the past week, incredibly helpful for me to use a timer to schedule how much time I'm allotting myself to get the things done that I really need to happen each day. And I'm not scheduling a lot of things. I'm doing the bare bones basics because I'm trying to, just as I'm sharing with you to do this week, I'm trying to reflect and emotionally adapt to this new normal. So what I have been doing that I encourage you to do is something 
which you may be familiar with, called Parkinson's Law. That's when you think about how much time it will take you to get something done. And then you schedule that time and get that project or task done in that allotted amount of time. When you don't have these structures or parameters, especially during a crisis, you can find that the whole day has slipped by and you haven't done anything. You may feel like I did during the first two weeks of my lockdown here at my home, like the days were passing by so quickly and I just couldn't seem to get focused on on anything. And this is very normal. We know, as I've shared with you in the past series, that have all been geared toward managing yourself in this crisis. Science has shown that when you've had a shocking experience, as this pandemic has been a shock to suddenly realize we are in the midst of it, and you have a lot of uncertainty and fear. Many of you may have lost jobs or are concerned about your job, what will happen even after the pandemic. Many of you are frontline workers. Some of you are at home, stuck, not able to go out, and that has challenges. We're all living life under a unique set of challenges. So our brain is functioning in fight or flight response, ongoing for weeks, could be months at a time. So our focus, our mental focus, and our emotions are taking a back seat. So our energy is moving outward, downward, and outward, and sometimes spiraling out of control. The more you can do, such as meditation, to bring your energy more inward, back to yourself, and upward towards your aspirational qualities of hope, the more likely you are going to be able to be more productive and to focus. So if you could apply Parkinson's law and schedule what you need to do in the amount of time it will likely take to get things done and then have a reward at the end of that time, you are likely to get more done. Of course, don't schedule something in a short amount of time that is going to leave you stressed and scrambling. Make sure that you build in some extra time to get things done, but still have a set time to get it done. And then reward yourself. Select some rewards that really appeal to you, that will help uplift you during this time. So as your final episode, I want to say how much I honor you for listening to a meditation podcast during this time. It's truly an honor to share these tips and techniques with you. I'm going through these series right along with you. So I'm sharing my own meditation ritual right next to you. We're all in this together. So as you settle yourself down and get ready to meditate today, as a reward for yourself, this is a weekend, this is a Saturday's episode I'm recording, try meditating a little bit longer. If you simply listen to these episodes and don't really sit down to meditate, no worries. We all start somewhere in our own unique way. In any case, sit down and just spend a few moments in silence. And I encourage you to visualize yourself walking, meandering, spending time in a place of natural beauty that 
makes you feel safe. For you, that might be a park or walking by the ocean or a lake you go to in the summer. Visualize the natural beauty around you. Engage all your senses, what you see, hear, smell, touch. This is a reward for yourself and you can do it anytime throughout your day. But do it now, do it today. I have so enjoyed sharing this week's Productivity in a Crisis series with you. The full guided half hour meditations, if you need a little more support during these times, are on the Sip and Ohm meditation app and you can try the app for two weeks free full access to over 2,000 meditations. You are so worth slowing down for.